Welcome to Ratios and Proportional Reasoning, and we're going to start off with the vocabulary. And the two words we're going to use are rates, oops, hang on, rates and uh, unit rates, so number one and number two. And a rate is, let's kind of set up like a fraction. It has a, it has a numerator and it has a denominator, and it compares two units. And they have to be different units. So like this one here, 120 miles per two hours or over two hours. And that is uh, a rate here. Uh, this one here is uh, $300 for six hours. And the third example is 160 beats for two minutes. And so it kind of looks like a fraction. They are labeled and the labels have to be different. So this is miles per for hour, so miles, distance and time. This one is money and time, and this one is beats and time. So, uh, it is comparing two units, and they're set up like a fraction. Um, the other one is related to it. It would be, uh, would be the rate, and it's a rate, but it has a denominator of one. And if you look at the first example here, 120 miles over two hours, you have a denominator of two. So you're gonna take that 120 miles, and it is important that you include the units. If you don't, you don't have a rate. And divide, uh, over two hours. So that says 120 miles for over two miles, uh, two hours. So, what this says is, I traveled 120 miles and it took me two hours, but I really want to know how long did it take me per hour so I can actually compare it. So I'm going to divide it by the numeric in the denominator and here, and I can divide that because really you're dividing by one here, and I would get 60 miles per one hour and that would be your answer here. So a unit would be, uh, a unit rate would be a rate with a denominator of one. So let's go with 300 here, let's do that one, $300, you have to have your labels, for six hours. Well you would divide by six over six, because really that's just a one, and you would, 30, 300 divided by six would be $50, and six divided by six would be for per hour. So you're making $50 per hour. And I don't have room for the next one, but I would divide this here by the denominator of two over two, which is really one. I'd get 80 beats for every minute. So it'd be 80 beats per one minute. So our unit rate is a denominator of one with a rate on top. Thank you.